Yeah, I was actually called as a witness to appear in court in the Carl Jobs vs. Billy Mitchell legal case that's been ongoing for quite some time. It's no secret that I don't have much respect for silly Billy Mitchell. In fact, I have more respect for piss stains in a public gas station toilet than I do Mr. Billy Mitchell. I didn't know I was allowed to talk about this until I learned tonight on stream that all of the transcripts for the court are public and that there are lawyers on YouTube that are talking about the case as well as sites that are publishing things about it. And they have all of the details. There's a site called Perfect Pac-Man that laid out like the entire day I was there and got every single thing right on the money, including what I was wearing and my hairstyle. I guess I don't need to remain as tight-lipped about this as I thought I did. So I'll talk about it a little bit, but I am still going to play it cautiously here because it is still ongoing and I don't want to jeopardize anything by saying too much, but I'll talk about what's public knowledge here about this whole thing. It's very wacky. Like, the case is super serious, but some of the things that happened while I was a witness in it are so goofy. I'm sure some of you have already seen by now. My fart made it as evidence in this case. Billy Mitchell's team used my ass trumpet in, in their evidence. So... Fuckle your seatbelts. It's a bit of a wild ride. They certainly pulled out some weird maneuvers. They were running some plays that I don't think John Madden could have ever drawn up. Like, they had some fascinating tricks up their sleeves that Baba Vanga wouldn't have even dared to predict. Some of it I felt was just entirely unrelated to anything, which we'll get to in a moment. Like, to a level where I half expected them to just start talking about goof juice. Like, Mr. White, is it true that you have your own Gamer Sups flavor? Goof Juice. And is it also true, Mr. White, that Goof Juice is the best beverage that's ever been constructed? And, Mr. White, is it also true that you can purchase Goof Juice right now at gamersups.gg slash moist? Well, yes. To all the questions. Goof Juice is available. Right now. Like, it just felt like a lot of the questions really didn't pertain to the case, such as my fart. I'm not exaggerating. My fart is literally a piece of evidence here. Okay, so how did people... I don't know how people have this, yeah. Apparently I am allowed to talk about it. I was called in as a witness for Carl Jobs vs. Billy Mitchell. And I, I don't know how people already have this information. There's a video claiming your fart is evidence in the case. How... how I don't... Is that all public? I don't want to, like, overstep or anything. Uh, I, I'm told I am allowed to mention that, and I guess it's public knowledge now. How, who, wh where do you even find that? Yeah. I, I guess, I guess a lot more of it is public than I thought. I'm si just, just purely out of an abundance of caution, I'll still refrain from going into too much detail about it. But it's, it is not clickbait, actually. Where is that photo from? It's from a video I made talking about Billy Mitchell uh, in the intro. It was after one of Billy Mitchell's lawsuits. And there was like a couple of like brain dead Billy Mitchell fans that like tweeted at me at the time saying that I owe him an apology. Though I think some of them were just being sarcastic. But even still for the intro I just played around with it saying like some people wanted me to apologize. So here's my apology. So I got up and tooted into the mic. And then continued to insult Billy Mitchell. Oh my god, I'm reading this article from Perfect Pac-Man right now? Wait, how did they see me? Was Okay, here, I'm gonna pull- I'll pull this up real quick. I guess- I guess I can talk about it? Disheveled, long hair everywhere, plain white shirt. This was court recording and screenshotting was forbidden by court rules, so I couldn't show you any pictures, but dude dressed up sharp for the occasion. Nice suit jacket, washed hair back, and a sexy man bun, sitting in his usual chair. How? He had to have been there, right? Like, he had to. Yeah, so I guess the transcripts really are out there. And yeah. <laughs> yeah. They asked me about King of Kong, and I had literally rewatched it the day before I went to trial. <laughs> they got, they actually have everything. So, uh, when I was cross-examined, they used my videos, uh... I, I, I'm going to be honest, I don't really know why 
they used my videos, I guess, to show I didn't like Billy Mitchell. But that was pretty clear with the way I talked about him. Like, I don't think you needed this. But basically what they did for Billy's team is they pulled up a few of my videos. So this one, he's a cheater. And asked me to confirm that it was produced by me <laughs> earlier this year. And uh, <laughs> they played, I think it was 32 seconds. And it was where I was like, okay, so there's, here, they actually have the quote. Uh, spamming me down on Twitter, demanding I give Billy Mitchell an apology. This is my official response to all of you. And it's where I stand on my chair and I fart into the mic. Going on to just continue to insult Billy Mitchell. <laughs> Actual fart evidence. Billy Mitchell's team used fucking flatulence. <laughs> But yeah, so they used a couple of snippets like that with me making fun of Billy Mitchell. Like, the things I was saying about Billy, I, I feel like you as the person defending him wouldn't really want him to hear or other people to hear. I was pretty surprised. Oh, and this was, I guess, it's all here. They have all of the evidence, too. So I think the, the main thing that Billy's team wanted to do with that video was showcase a grapevine effect. So what they did is they pulled 10 comments from the comment section of two of my videos covering it that they were going to use as an example of the grapevine effect, right? And the natural conclusion you draw from that is you have cherry-picked 10 comments, some of which have zero interaction. Almost all of them really have zero interaction. 10 comments out of over 10,000 that they submitted as evidence. The third has 1.7. Yeah, yeah, I said almost all of them. But like, if you look at the ones they cherry pick, almost all of them have zero. There's this one that does. But this is also the thing that they're talking about is here. So this having interaction isn't even in regards to what they wanted to prove for Grapevine. It's this having five. They have no idea how the internet works. They also tried to enter a reaction video uploaded by another channel's evidence. Yeah, it was very clear Billy Mitchell's team wasn't familiar with the internet. They pulled up uh, one of those hundreds of re-upload channels that'll take like stream moments and package it for their own channel for AdSense. And they're like, this is your video, right, Charles? And I was like, no, it's it's not. You can see it's not. That's That's not my channel. But they kept insisting like... But your face is here. It must be yours. But it's not. That's it's not my video. It's it's just not. So it was it became pretty obvious pretty quickly they don't really understand the internet. I was there to talk about his reputation. Billy has had a horrible reputation for I personally believe Billy's reputation was ruined the day King of Kong came out. He looks like a narcissist. In that documentary, which as noted here, I literally had rewatched right before my my appearance here. In that documentary, he literally looks like one of the biggest narcissists you will ever see. And he looks like a bully. He looks like a bad guy. And his reputation has never changed. But anyway, another thing... I don't see it here. Another thing they did was... Uh, in one of the videos I made, I went through his cameo just kind of clowning on it. And Billy's team was like... Those are all five-star reviews, aren't they, Charles? And I was like, yeah, they, they appear to be five-star reviews. It is important to note that there is botting issues with these services. Like, I believe most of Billy's five-star reviews, I think a lot of them are probably shilled. That's my personal belief. I can't prove it or anything. But they're like, can't you see there was a lot of people very happy with Billy here? And I was like, Th those are five-star <laughs> reviews. Yeah. Which does, like, that, that has nothing to do with anything. I think they were trying to, like, grasp at straws. Like, look, people like Billy. People do like Billy. But yeah, all of this played in court, by the way. I, I want you to make note of it. The fart, and then all of this. This, like, this whole, they just let my video rip for a while. <laughs> like, I, I couldn't believe what I was hearing. Like, he's the video game player of the century, not the ultimate gamer. That's a totally different title, which you could have easily gotten if you wanted to, but he was too busy fucking your mom and every other goddamn groupie that was on his meat after you got the Donkey Kong record. So now he settles for just being the video game player of the century, and thank heavens for that, because if he went for the ultimate gamer too, there'd be no women left for the rest of us. So God bless that he held himself back. <laughs> like, I don't know why they're playing that. What does that do? Like, this is evidence that they submitted.
Overall, I really just don't understand what the strategy was with playing those clips. It's clear I don't have respect for Billy. You don't need to put the icing on that cake. The reason I don't have respect for Billy is for the reasons I've mentioned. He is a bully. He is a bad guy. He is a narcissist. He is a cheater. He is a person of poor character and has had a horrible reputation for many, many years all because of his own behavior and his own actions. I won't go much more in depth, again, just playing it safe here, because I don't want to talk about anything that's not like explicitly talked about in the, the public space there. So I'll refrain from going much more in depth here, but I just had to at least mention this because now that it's all out there with my fart as evidence in this case, how could I not talk about it a little bit? That is fucking crazy. So anyway, I'm wishing Carl and his team the absolute best here. It's still ongoing as of the moment. Sending my absolute best wishes their way. And uh, yeah, that's really about it. See ya.